In this question, we are given ratio of sum of n terms of two APs is 7n plus 1 is to 4n plus 27 and we want to find ratio of their mth terms. Let's say the first term and common difference of first AP are small a and small d then sum of n terms of this AP will be n by 2 to small a plus n minus 1 small d and if for second AP the first term and common difference are capital A and capital D then sum of n terms for second AP I can write as s dash n equals to n by 2 2 capital A plus n minus 1 capital D and we are given that the ratios of these two sums is 7 n plus 1 is to 4 n plus 27 so s n is to s dash n equals to n by 2 to small a plus n minus 1 small d divided by n by 2 to capital A plus n minus 1 capital D equals to 7 n plus 1 divided by 4 n plus 27. I can simplify the left hand side I can cancel this n by 2 with this n by 2. So I get 2 small a plus n minus 1 small d divided by 2 capital A plus n minus 1 capital D equals to 7 n plus 1 divided by 4 n plus 27. Let me call this equation 1 and this is what we are given and we want to find the ratios of mth terms of these two APs. So for first AP I can write mth term is small a m equals to small a plus m minus 1 into small d and for the second AP I can write mth term is capital A m equals to capital A plus m minus 1 capital D and the ratios of these two terms will be small a m is to capital A m equals to small a plus m minus 1 small d divided by capital A plus m minus 1 capital D. So this is what we want to find. Now if we look at what we are given, we are given 2 small a plus n minus 1 small d divided by 2 capital A plus n minus 1 capital D equals to 7n plus 1 upon 4n plus 27. So I can simplify this given expression by dividing the numerator and denominator on left side by 2. So I get from 1 I get small a plus n minus 1 by 2 small d divided by capital A plus n minus 1 by 2 capital D equals to 7n plus 1 divided by 4n plus 27. Let me call this equation 2. If I look at left hand side of this equation 2 then I see that if I can find value of n such that n minus 1 by 2 is equals to m minus 1 then left hand side of 2 will be equals to the ratio that I want to find and thus the right hand side of equation 2 for that value of n will be equals to my desired ratio. So, so let us find the value of n for which n minus 1 by 2 will be equals to m minus 1. So, n minus 1 by 2 equals to m minus 1 or n minus 1 equals to 2 m minus 1 or n minus 1 equals to 2 m minus 2 
or this will give me n equals to 2m minus 1. So if I substitute n equals to 2m minus 1 on both sides of equation 2, then the left hand side of equation 2 will be equals to the ratio that I want to find and right hand side will be my answer. So let us put n equals to 2m minus 1 in the equation number 2. So I get from 2 small a plus 2m minus 1 that is value of n minus 1 divided by 2 into small d divided by capital A plus 2m minus 1 minus 1 divided by 2 capital D equals to 7 2m minus 1 plus 1 divided by 4 2m minus 1 plus 27 or small a plus 2m minus 2 divided by 2 small d divided by capital A plus 2m minus 2 divided by 2 capital D equals to 14m minus 7 plus 1 divided by 8m minus 4 plus 27 or here I can take 2 common. So I get small a plus 2 m minus 1 divided by 2 small d divided by capital A plus 2 m minus 1 divided by 2 capital D equals to 14 m minus 6 divided by 8 m plus 23 or small a plus m minus 1 small d divided by capital A plus m minus 1 capital D equals to 14 m minus 6 divided by 8 m plus 23. So, this is my answer.